All right, it's day three of Infocom 2014. Uh, one of the most popular things here in the booth has been our Enact. Um, our devices are embedded uh, operating systems, and because of that, we're able to store on board each device RS-232 and IR commands. Um, the devices are also capable of emitting uh, TCP IP or UDP commands as well. And we, we wrote some, some hooks into the software that allow the box to recognize being plugged into or unplugged from. And based on that event, we can send to a destination IP address TCP IP commands, UDP commands, uh, or we can tell other devices to emit RS-232 or IR commands. So it's a, it's a unique concept. You know, if you're um, doing a program in a room and you only want the available inputs to show up as a selection on your control panel, well you can set this device up to send a command to your control system to tell it that it's plugged into and there's an active input there. Uh, it's a very unique, you know, because when you t think about programming systems on that level, now the user can only select available inputs and the inputs that aren't active are not available on the controls panel. So it's a, it's a really powerful tool, but the other thing that we see more and more of is these small rooms within these corporate spaces where we have we have spaces that essentially are considered to be uh, breakout rooms or uh, huddle spaces or huddle rooms. Uh, they're becoming very popular and, and we're seeing the corporate campus uh, go to more of these smaller rooms and, and less of the larger rooms. And in that space, uh, this system that we have set up here, you'll see that we have a lighting system, uh, we have uh, our new in-touch control panel uh, acting as a room occupancy uh, banner for the outside of the space. Uh, we have a, 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 a sound system here and we have a TV, a TV here as well. So what this simulates is me actually walking into the room as an end user and plugging into the device. Uh, when I do that, our box has recognized that it's been plugged into. It has sent a command to the decoder that's connected to the TV to actually turn the television on. It's turned the lighting system off. If you wanted it to, it could communicate to the HVAC system. It's told the room that it's now occupied. Okay. Um, one of the other things that we do is, um, because these are embedded operating systems, they have memory, we're able to store information on the individual devices as well. So as I shut this down, for show purposes, you'll see it only flashes for a second, but this image that came up on the screen could be a message to your end user that tells them that in 60 seconds, this system is going to shut off if you don't uh, plug back into it. So it's a very powerful tool, and you know the way that we're going to consider control in the future is the, least, the, the less the individual has to interact with the room, the easier it's going to be to use. Thank you.